Atlanta Business Chronicles Biz. Sponsored by Georgia Power and Go Beyond Profit. Good morning and thanks for joining us. We begin with a wave of residential development headed for Atlanta's west side. Those planned projects are expected to produce hundreds of millions of dollars in new investment and bring more than 2,000 residential units to Donnelly Hollowell Parkway, formerly known as Bankhead Highway. Now, over the next decade, more than a dozen developments could add apartments, condos, townhomes, and single-family housing. They'll span several neighborhoods, including Bankhead, Grove Park, and West Highlands. One of the many include the redevelopment of Chapel Forest Apartments, Brockbilt bought the property two years ago. It includes 17 abandoned buildings. It could turn the site into more than a place to live, adding coffee shops, beer gardens, and public spaces. Nearly two years after its massive data breach, Equifax has reached a multi-million dollar settlement deal. The Atlanta-based credit reporting agency will pay more than $650 million, and perhaps much more than that, to resolve most of the claims from one of the largest data breaches in history. Hackers stole the personal and financial information of nearly 150 million Americans. Equifax failed to detect the issue and didn't publicly reveal the problem until months later. The proposed settlement says almost half of the money, $300 million, will go toward victims' claims. Equifax also agrees to provide up to 10 years of free credit monitoring services to all affected. Now, the company must also spend a minimum of $1 billion to improve its data security. In the fallout over the Boeing 737 MAX jets, Delta Airlines says it considered buying the ill-fated planes. Delta CEO Ed Bastian says while the 737 is a good product, the company opted for a jet made by Airbus to spruce up its aging fleet. Now, he says cost, the engine, and customer reviews were factors in their decision. Meanwhile, the second largest carrier at Hartsfield-Jackson, Southwest Airlines, says it'll end its 70 weekly flights from Atlanta to Newark International. Southwest had the largest fleet of 737 MAX jets. It's repurposing its planes to more profitable routes. Now, earlier this year, the FAA grounded the Boeing 737 MAX jets after two fatal crashes killed 350 people. A Silicon Valley unicorn is moving its Atlanta office to the Atlanta Beltline. Software company PagerDuty has signed a lease at 725 Ponce overlooking the East Side Trail, historic Fourth Ward Park and Ponce City Market. Right now, PagerDuty holds temporary office space in WeWork on Peachtree Street. It says the move will grow its Atlanta hub to more than 300 employees. Meanwhile, Atlanta Beltline officials say construction could soon begin on the South Side Trail. The roughly $16 million project is expected to kick off as early as October. It would build just a small portion, less than a mile, of the planned four and a half mile trail. The segment would run through the Pittsburgh neighborhood and along an emerging mixed use project called Pittsburgh Yards. When fully built, the South Side Trail will run from University Avenue to Glenwood Avenue, linking the East Side and West Side Trail. The estimated price tag, $70 million. State health regulators are giving Grady Hospital the green light to continue adding 35,000 square feet of treatment space to its main hospital downtown. This is despite a cost overrun of $7 million. Grady says the previous construction company did subpar work that had to be removed and redone. That's why the expansion will cost $27 million instead of about $20 million. Grady is suing the company to recover at least four and a half million dollars. Atlanta is now home of the highest grossing film of all time. Marvel's Avengers Endgame took the crown from the 2009 movie Avatar, amassing almost three billion dollars worldwide during a 13 week run. The superhero flick was filmed at Pinewood Atlanta Studios in Fayette County. Marvel Studios, which is owned by the Walt Disney Company, has made Metro Atlanta its unofficial home in recent years, with films including Captain America Civil War, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Black Panther. There's a new family entertainment center coming to Atlanta, bringing an interactive story cave, a recording and dance studio, even a toy testing lab. Keffy will open its first location in the Buckhead Triangle Shopping Center next month. The 25,000 square foot space is designed for the whole family. For kids, there's a playground to create their own music, play with the latest toys, and experience high-tech storytelling. For parents, there's a coffee bar, co-working space, and relaxation areas. Families can purchase a two-hour play pass for $14.99. A monthly membership starts at $99. Keffy plans a national rollout with locations opening in Los Angeles, Chicago, and Dallas. 
Coming up, one of the best ways to spend time with family is by doing something fun. Andrew Wexler, the CEO of Hershend Enterprises, takes us inside some of the company's best attractions for spending quality time with those you love. And as we go to break, it's time for our Biz Quiz. Which Georgia attraction sees the most visitors each year? A, Georgia Aquarium, B, Stone Mountain Park, C, the World of Coca-Cola, D, Centennial Olympic Park. We'll have the answer when we return.